Rossi Broidotti's Nomadic Subjects was published in 1984. The book argues for a new kind of philosophical thinking, one that would include the insights of feminism and abandon the hegemonic mode. Broidotti invents a new kind of theoretical style based on nomadism. She applies Deleuzean idea of nomadism within a broader post-structural feminist understanding and offers an interdisciplinary basis for the redefinition of female subjectivity. Foucault's ideas on power forms the basis of her theoretical framework. She presents power as a positive force and generates a cartographic approach which takes up large issues of feminist theory. In face of the crisis of modern subjectivity and the undecidedness on the issue of post-structural non-unitary subject, this book offers a new paradigm of subjectivity. Broidotti's paradigm of subjectivity is based on the concept of difference as a discursive site of problematization. This new complex female subjectivity is the foundation for female nomadism. She brings the idea of sexual difference into the core of her analysis as a positive foundation for the redefinition of female subjectivity and as an alternative to essentialist categorizations. Broidotti explores different facets of the notion of nomadic subjects as a suitable theoretical figuration for contemporary subjectivity. The term figuration refers to a style of thought that evokes or expresses ways out of the phallocentric vision of the subject. A figuration is a politically informed account of an alternative subjectivity. The nomad is Broidotti's figuration of a situated, postmodern, culturally differentiated understanding of the subject in general and of the feminist subject in particular. The starting point for most feminist redefinitions of subjectivity is a new form of materialism, one that develops the notion of corporeal materiality by emphasizing the embodied and therefore sexually differentiated structure of the speaking subject. Consequently, rethinking the bodily roots of subjectivity is a starting point for the epistemological project of nomadism. The body or the embodiment of the subject is to be understood as neither a biological nor a sociological category but rather as a point of overlapping between the physical, the symbolic and the sociological. The nomadic subject is a myth, that is to say of political fiction that allows Broidotti to think through and move across established categories and levels of experience, blurring boundaries without burning bridges. Nomadism refers to the kind of critical consciousness that resists settling into socially coded modes of thought and behavior. Not all nomads are world travelers. Some of the greatest trips can take place without physically moving from one's habitat. It is a subversion of set conventions that defines the nomadic state, not the literal act of traveling. The radical nomadic epistemology Deleuze and Gattari propose is a form of resistance to microfascisms. Nomadic becoming is neither reproduction nor just imitation, but rather emphatic proximity and intensive interconnectedness. Nomadic shifts designate a creative soft of becoming, a performative metaphor that allows for otherwise unlikely encounters and unsuspected sources of interaction of experience and of knowledge. The nomadic subject as a performative image allows us to weave together different levels of experiences. It reflects some autobiographical aspects while also expressing my own conceptual preference for a post-metaphysical vision of subjectivity. It allows to conjugate feminist politics with a variety of other powerful political and theoretical concerns and locations. Nomadic subjects are capable of freeing the activity of thinking from the hold of phallocentric dogmatism, returning thought to its freedom, its liveliness and its beauty. There is a strong aesthetic dimension in the quest for alternative nomadic figurations and feminist theory. Broidotti argues that nomadic consciousness is akin to what Foucault called counter-memory. It is a form of resisting assimilation or homologation into dominant ways of representing the self. 
nomadic tense is the imperfect it is active continuous the nomadic trajectory is controlled speed the nomadic style is about transitions and passages without predetermined destinations or lost homelands the nomad's relationship to the earth is one of transitory attachment and cyclical frequentation the antithesis to farmer the nomad gathers reaps and exchanges but does not exploit